A is for. We are back to the beginning of the alphabet, starting with ancient Rome and ancient Greece. Um, sometime in my past, I became enamored with ancient Greek culture. It started with my love of astronomy, and then I started reading about the constellations and the stories behind them, which are mostly Greek myths. And those are interesting, so of course I wanted to know about everything else in Greek culture and, you know, ancient Rome and stuff. Um, I really like their culture. Um, I like some of the things that they're built on, like definitely the democracy and how, like, sort of innovative it was at the time, like even something as simple as, well, if you want to vote yes, drop in this color coin, if you want to vote no, drop in this color coin. And yes, I know, it was only like the white landowners that were like rich, but, but it was a step in the right direction. Um, I also really like their architecture. Um, I really like white things with pillars. <laughs> I don't know, don't ask me. Um, also, their stories are great. Um, they're really fun to read, um, and their, their system of, like, all the gods is so intricate that it's really cool to see how they all, like, interact and exchange with each other, and then books that deal with that, like the Percy Jackson series, I love, I love, I love, I love, um, because it's so great, and I think it does a really good job of, like, getting the personas of all of these different gods, um, it's just really fun to read. Um, yeah, I really like mythology. So if you're looking for some interesting reads sometime, check out Greek mythology. Good reads can be found in any library, of course.